good. Um, all right, thank you very much for that, Alexi. Now, you go overseas, you. right? You go overseas and um, you come back and the whole world has changed on you. First of all, the New Zealand dollar plummets, Labor has a bad week, and I come back to extraordinary news from my gorgeous co-host. I'm going to be leaving you, Petal. I've She's decided leaving. to get some sleep That's and that. spend more time with my family and do other things, but you'll, I'll miss you, Petal. You've got me for another week. Are you almost crying? Nearly. Oh, so this is Kay's last week. It is. It is. Time for the family to have me, I think. Kay's and last other week. things. All right. All right. Oh, well, we'll talk more about that, obviously, during the week. Because we we'll have to, because it's... Now, that music I recognise... We know it. We know it. That was Da Da Day Dobbin. <laughs> um, the Wallflowers and well, One I'm sure that Headline. Was Dave Dobbin, actually. No, that was Dave Dobbin. Da 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 Dave. Um, and uh, yeah, the wallflowers and one. Same from Fort Rock Flats. Headache. Actually, right, right, I've right. got to check. Sorry. Sorry. Because I was told and I wrote it down and I can't. can't one, read. Headlight. one headlight. I thought it was a I one, knew that. one headache, I thought. <laughs> um, so that's very good. Now, so I've just come back yes, from Yes, it was Dave Dobbin. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> so anyway, I've just come back and I just wanted to tell you this one story. And I was working over there as well. She, so and I thought, God, she does recognise me. And she was literally going <gasps> like that. You know, and I thought, God, this guy must be famous. And as I turned my head back to look at him again, right next to her was Paris Hilton. She was standing <laughs> right next to Paris Hilton. And I wondered who the famous English I know, gentleman I know. was going to be. And it's Paris Hilton. Turns out the famous English gentleman wasn't famous at all. And what was Paris doing? And she was buying mints. Oh. A thing of mints. Um, <laughs> not mince meat, but breath mints. Breath mints. And, and oh, she, I bet Bella was just oh, look, so excited. Bella was standing there. Paris Hilton sort of walked towards her, because Bella was blocking the exit, practically like this, <laughs> um, and Paris Hilton walked over, gave her the most beautiful smile, but she was standing in her, you know, I'm being photographed by a million paparazzi shots. Anyway, Fantastic. She walks out, no one speaks. There are maybe, I suppose, five people in this tiny little grotty little mobile service station. No one speaks, and then the Englishman says, I thought she was in jail. It was fantastic. It was fantastic. Anyway, so we I saw a star. I can't wait to hear the rest of these stories. Saw a star. There you go, Paris Hilton. And that is Breakfast for Another Day. Yes, thank you very much for joining us this morning on Kay's Last Week. We will talk more about that. Mm, we will. We? I'll see you tomorrow, though. Week. Yeah, look Have forward to day. seeing you tomorrow. Have a brilliant day in paradise. If you're watching yesterday, um, this is Kay's last week. Are you getting a bit, you know? Yeah. Are you? A little bit. I'm going to make Kay cry before the end of the week. Of course, I'm <laughs> it gonna be, won't be hard. I'm going to be extra specially nice to my gorgeous co-host this week, but I will make her cry, guarantee you, before the end of the week. <laughs> Probably we'll try for a real flood of tears on Oh, well, you, you, you might Friday. get a flood on Friday, mm. but then I'll come right. I'll come good, We're going to try. We're, we're searching for archival footage. Oh, here, excellent. Kay. That's got something for me to look forward to. Mm. I can't wait well, for that. Well, the good thing is it's quite easy because Kay's very old, so <laughs> there's a great deal Just of well, archival footage. No, I know. Imagine that. <laughs> Although there wasn't footage when he first started on television. It didn't exist. Anyway, shall All we right, go? Right, then. Shall we yep. go now? Shall we go? It's Let's. breakfast for another day. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. We look forward to seeing you again. I hope tomorrow morning from 7. Have a brilliant day in paradise. Make up the filling for this year's winner. Yes, the vegetarian pie took the top prize ahead of a wide variety of pies, including the traditional meat variety. The judges selected the winner from 3,000 entrants. More news for you at 7.30. Tara Paul mm. and Kay. As the winner of the pie contest is coming in today, I was really hoping for mince and cheese.
Well, because it should be mince and cheese. Why? Shouldn't it? Well, last year the winner of the pie competition was a, a fruit pie. Yes. Wasn't it? It was yes. pear. Pear pie. I just, when did you last go into a service station and buy pear pie? And this year it's a vegetarian pie. It would be good for the vegans. You hear the news about the vegans yesterday? Yes, we talked only about it on the programme. I know, remember? only having sex with other vegans. Yeah. Now at least they'll, they'll be able to... Who's <laughs> laughing? Now they'll be able to do that That's and Sarah eat in the, the vegetarian pie. <laughs> yes, all right. Well, I just think it's crazy. I mean, we're going to talk about this pie thing We're going to look the at program, the pie a little bit later. That'll be good. A vegetarian pie taste it. following fruit pie. What's well, happened to New it. Zealand? Move on, get over it. All right. On to something much more serious. Later today, the Health Minister will officially announce a plan to screen... Seven now on Wednesday morning at breakfast. Great to have you along. You might have a comment to make, uh, a view on the screening plan, or indeed anything else on the programme this morning. Maybe on the fact that for the second year in a row, a non-meat pie has won Best Pie of the Year. Anyway, we're pleased to hear from you. You can text us, BF, leave a space, and then send your message to 8850. Or you can email us on breakfast at tvnz.co.nz. Paul is very worried about the pie. I don't know about worried, yes, but concerned. There's a level of concern. Carping on all morning. There's a level of After the concern. break, John Key will join us. We'll check out his plans for this weekend's National Party Conference. So there's the, there's the front page. Well, it is an amazing photo, and the interesting thing about that photo, if you look at it, is they say the left-hand tower is the real one. And it Paul is... Paul can't work this out. It's been causing him great angst this morning. The left-hand tower right. is the real one. Well, yeah, I suppose it is right, because it's up Federal Street, but if you look at the two of them, you'd swear the right-hand tower there was, was the real one. Look, the left one's all white. Very clever Anyway, photo. anyway Very it's clever. quite clever, isn't it? All right, now for a look at what's making oh, the news back to Jack very shortly. I'm worried about that whole vegan thing, because I've thought seriously about it all day what, becoming yesterday. becoming a vegan? No, 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 I would never consider that. But thought about that whole thing, that, 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 that this vegan sexual thing, yeah. that, they, that they won't, you know, um, have relations yeah. with, with non-vegans because they're like full of dead animals. Narrows the, narrows the but scope. But if you think about it, I mean, should they be having relations anyway oh, if they're Paul. a vegan? No, seriously. You know, if they're only interested in vegetables and... Goodness fruit me! And that, should they? We'll ha look, I think we'll move right along, thank you. We'll have more on the Scouts big celebration when we come back, thank you. All right, welcome back. On the 1st of August 1907, Lord Robert Baden-Powell led a group of 20 scouts on an eight-day camp off the south coast of England. Well, exactly 100 years on, scouting has become a part of life for hundreds of thousands of children around the world. As you saw before the break, Jack and Alexi are out and about this morning, joining scouts from around the country in celebrating the movement's centenary. We'll be with Alexi and is with us from Wellington, and, and hundreds of people have turned out there too. That's right, it's so exciting. There's more, you know, about probably 300 scouts here at the moment and they are so cute. Just behind me I've got some people who were just invested as cubs last week so they are very excited. But in the moment I'll be talking to Tony Hickmore from Scouting in New Zealand. But firstly we'll have a look at some pictures of scouting over the past hundred years and around the world. Paul, you should find the, the camper within you and become a scout leader. Oh, do you think goes straight? Do you think goes straight to leadership? Oh, I'm. I'm oh, prepared. now he's keen. No, Alexi, can you get it. the cameraman to pull out? Because we'd like to see some of the. Oh, yeah, the sure. We can't see any of them. Do you want to see some kids yes, there? There you go. Oh, how do you want cute to is that? The Oh, that is fantastic. Look, 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 look. That is cute. Isn't it is it? such a good thing for them to be doing. One of them is not quite as cute as the others. Oh, Paul, how but, could you oh, see no, that? Can, Put what's salt that? in your oh, mouth right now, young man. Thank you, Alexi. <laughs> Alexi, when I leave, it's going to be your job to right. give him, him what the hand. force. Thank you I very much. I can do that. Yeah, no, they're you. absolutely beautiful. It's great to see them too. Thank you very much for that, Lexi. What no a brilliant worries. day. A hundred years. Fantastic. Mm. I was a brownie and a guide. Similar theme. Yeah. No, that's interesting. Very good. All right. All right. You're not even bothered, are you? Following an intense day of judging last week, the winner of New Zealand's Supreme Pie Award has been announced. So we're a bit worried about this, aren't we? Well, I'm worried about it anyway. Later in the programme, we will meet the winning baker. But first, here's Amy Kelly with a taste of the judging. <laughs> the shrinking member of Parliament. All right, Rodney Hyde, it is my year of living dangerously and honestly, it is a jolly good read. Didn't you just say you want to audition for my job? I did. I was thinking go. about it. You know, you TVNZ, go. we could... It's living dangerously. That's right. In fact, I thought even support. better, what we should do is... We could swap jobs for a while. We could. Yeah, and we could do or a reality. Here. Yeah, do a reality TV. You Someone know. could be voted off. That's right. <laughs> oh. And you could be the MP for Epsom, and go down to Parliament. I fancy and come being back. the I could MP be for Epsom. Thank you, Rodney. We'll discuss this. After and I could interview you. 
Excellent. So how's it going? Things are looking up, Petal. All right, up next on New Zealand's Breakfast, why these two are getting back together.